Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Um, I'm privileged to be one of the first persons online here at YouTube to actually pre present to you Scatabus. Not Scatabus the normal, Scatabus the batch strength, batch one, 57% ABV. Scatabus means a rocky place. And Hunter Lang brought this out. Um, I was 2019 at the Bartenders Convention in Berlin, BCB 2019. And one of the first stands when I walked into the, the, the Messe Hall where I was, was Hunter Lang. I talked with one of the global brand ambassadors and he gave me a little bit of a sample of the normal Scarabus. And I was like, well, I'm not a peat head. He's tried. I was, like, I was like, oh, it's interesting. It's sweet. And he said, this is going to be a great hit. And it was. And now we have even maybe even a greater hit. It's Scatabus Batch Strength 57%. Now this is Whiskey Base number 171498. And I paid for this bottle over here in Germany 42 euros. Now this is going to be the question of the day. What is the typical price for a cast strength peated Isla whiskey where you live? Now over here in Germany, um, 80 euros, 70 euros, 60 euros is more or less the norm. 40, 42 euros in this case is absolutely a bargain. Now the question is, does it taste good or not? Now in one of my following videos, I will actually be tasting this. This is a charity action from Kirsch Import here in Germany for Sea Shepherd. This is an Isla single malt Scotch whiskey, navy strength with 57.1%. This cost about 16 euros more for the same bottle. Now it's a beautiful, nice little bottle with a little bit of wax on it and all that, blah, blah, blah. And 5% of the um, wholesale price goes to Sea Shepherd, yay. Um, which makes it a little bit more expensive, but still, this is the bargain. This is the bargain to have, this is the bargain to beat. All right, so my question of the day, after I've talked about um, the price of a cast strength Isla peated whiskey, the second question is, where do you think Scarabus comes from? It is a Isla single malt Scotch whiskey, which means single, one distillery. Isla is the place where it was made, one of the different distilleries there. Is it Kilholman? Is it Ardbeg? I don't think so. Very expensive. Is it Lagavulin? I can't really imagine that. Is it Lefroig? I don't think so. Is it Bunahabin? I hope so, but I'm not sure. Is it Coila? Ah, I'm pretty... I think it is. I would say 80% Coila and 20% Buna. Um, those are just my personal things. I asked the um, guy behind the counter from Hunter Lang, and he said, shh. Not allowed to say. <laughs> All right. Now I don't. I don't have anything here to compare it to. I do not own a cast strength Isla peated whiskey. Sorry, I'm not a peat head. But in the last couple of years, um, I started doing my whiskey videos, and I actually started drinking whiskey in 2016. So it's almost been four and a half years. Going on five years now, I've really in the last half a year or so noticed that peated whiskeys are no longer something I go, e yucky, but really I go, oh, that's interesting. And when I smell this, I actually go, this is more than interesting. This is really nice. So the first thing that hits my, my nose is a sweetness, a malt sweetness. The second thing that hits my nose my, is a more of a caramel, a, a more of a toffee. And the third thing that hits my nose is more of a, hey, I'm at a beach bonfire. Now, if I read the, um, the label here, it basically says, doesn't say anything on the label. It says it here on the, <laughs> on the, on the can. It says here, um, powerful notes of beach bonfire, yay, um, and Isla peat smoke combined with licorice, which I don't get. Toffee and vanilla, a long-lasting finish with lingering ashy notes. All right, so I get the toffee, I get maybe the vanilla, and I definitely get the bonfire here. I miss the sweetness in their description. And I do not get a licorice. I, I, I remember having a, I liked red licorice as a boy. 
um, and I'm not sure if the American licorice is the same as the British licorice. All right, so what I'm getting is a salty type of sardine moment as well. I'm not sure if you like sardines or not, but think of a, of a salty type of herring fish. Not bad, not bad. Many people in Germany, especially Norman Germany, where I spent the last 25 years of my life, love of that. And the sweetness, the sweetness really, really, really is up my alley, is my wheelhouse. All right, cheers. Mm. And the ashiness kicks in in the end. Yeah, the sweetness, even a light little fruitiness kicks in. Then the um, the ashy comes in a little bit. And then what really is really, really nice is this a long finish. This is going to remain with you just a little bit. A little while, I'm sorry, not a little bit, a little while. Um, the second thing that I really, really like is the 56%, 57% are just absolutely wonderfully integrated. I've diluted this down in my German video and I was like, oh, the salty fishiness comes through a little bit more. And here the sweetness and the, the nice little ashiness at the end just remains. This is a beautiful, beautiful whiskey. This is for me a B minus. Now, um, you must remember that I'm not a peat head. I don't think I've ever given a, a, a peated smoky whiskey in my life anything above a C. And so this is an amazing score. Roy loves playing with the scarabus. He loves putting in a blind tasting. I think um, Scott, or no, um, Bart from the Scotch Test Dummies uh, received the Scarabus in his um, blind tasting set. And he, I think he picked it number one. And he was like, oh, this is one of the cheap ones. This is beautiful. I'm going to go buy a few bottles. And I must admit that the bat strength has one of the best values for money out there on the Isla peated cast strength market. And that's why I'm ask, actually, 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 actually asking, do you know of any actual available cast strength, batch strength, above 56, 57% Isla peated whiskeys that even come close to this. That would amaze me. All right, I'm gonna have one more little sip here. And one little other fun fact is that on the Isla of, um, <clears throat> of Isla, um, something was actually discovered or invented, You must, I must say. And that is this little thing that you can almost see here. This is a sunshine recorder. So if I read here the back of the book, it says here, Isla is a mysterious island um, offering us rare gifts from a natural here at the heart of the island. Our unique form of alchemy um, Fuses, sorry, craft and cask with the sea and air. Invented by one of Isla's more curiously minded sons, the iconic sunshine recorder captures the time and strength of the sun. Likewise, our curious minds and act, act ex, okay, exciting eye always or allow us to capture all of Isla's natural gifts and celebrate this in our whiskey, the reward for the was washful and patient, the curious. I need glasses, number one, and number two, um, with my lights, that gold was a little shiny and I couldn't read it as well as I wanted to. Scarabus, only those who th seek shall find, Hunter Lang. I must admit that this is one of the best products I think I've ever had from Hunter Lang. Um, cheers, one last time. I think, as I said, I'm going to give this like a C to a C plus on value for money. I don't know if I mentioned that before. And a B minus for taste and for smell. I actually like the smell a lot. Hmm. 
Mm. I'm sure many of you will also agree with me. Well done. Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of American. Um, maybe 2021 will be the year I'm recording my um, transformation to someone who likes peated whiskeys. It's been a while. I haven't liked them very much, um, but now I'm finding a few gems out there where I go, wow, this is really nice. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, tell others, share this video. Scalabus, great price, great whiskey, great, um, great bargain for your money. All the best. See you soon. Whiskey Jason here. Bye-bye.